Now we are going to do the calibration of the load cell that is attached to the load track 2. Uh, this load cell happened to be 44 kN or 10,000 pounds. And in order to do the calibration of our load cell, we're going to need a calibration device or a reference. Uh, in this case, we have a gold standard uh, calibration load cell with a readout box. So we can uh, read the load that has been applied. So what we have done here, uh, we want to also make sure that your reference calibration capacity is same or as close as possible to your load cell sensor that you are being calibrated. For example, that you are calibrating. For example, if this is 44 kilo newton or 10,000 pound, then your reference should be at least 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. So you are in that range. You cannot calibrate a 10,000 pound load cell with 1,000 pound a uh, reference calibration. So now those are compatible and we are going to be ready to calibrate our load cell using our software. We don't have to do anything right now. The crossbar is all set. We have a little gap here which we're going to be closing so we're going to get as close as possible. So we don't have to wait very much. So this is you want to make sure that you're close but you're not touching because the software is going to take care of that. So we're very close here and we're going to use the software to do our calibration. This is the next step, step number two for our calibration of our load cell. We have our reference which is our calibration bolt standard which is compatible in terms of the capacity of our load cell that is being calibrated. Our crossbar is in the right position, we move the platen so we are close. Now we are going to go to the software. Now in order to do the calibration we are going to use the software. We could be using any software that uses this load cell. That means we could use a, a consolidation or unconfined compression or CBR software. In this case here we are going to be using the triaxial software because we have a triaxial system here. But the principle is the same. So we're going to go to our computer and we go to the triaxial program, could be any other program. We're going to load a file, which is this calibration. Now I'm going to go to calibrate, summary, and uh, this is my old calibration. Then I go to calibrate, load. So we, my, I got my, now I can close that one. So I got my load, I got my graph. So I'll make it smaller so I can see what's going on during the calibration process. Uh, right now we don't have any tendencies in Newton. I'm going to change it in pounds because my, the, my readout is in pounds. But it's the same principle. So we got our dial reading which is our reference from our readout box in pounds. This is our sensor reading because we don't know what the calibration is. So what we are going to be doing next is we need to apply a load using the control in the software. All the other software programs, they have the same menu. So we're going to go to load control. So we have now the load control menu, the calibrate load, and the load calibration graph all open at once. So now what we're going to do, we're going to apply the first load and read it, in, read it in the readout box and we're going to put it in here and we will continue step by step until we have 10 points and every time we will check the calibration by clicking calibrate. So let's do the first point and then see how it goes. So we're going to go put 33 thousand counts. That should correspond to 51 pounds based on the old calibration. If the old calibration is not correct, we're not going to pay attention. We'll have to look 
at the readout box what it is going to give us. So when we do go, the flatten is going to be moving up until it's gonna, the load is going to read 33,000 counts. Right now it's reading zero, it's about 32,800. That's our zero right now. If you want to add another zero, we can put, this is our zero, we can do read. So it takes this value and puts it in here. That's our zero right now. Now this is 33, I'm gonna do go, and you're gonna hear the, the low track two now, flatten is moving up until it's gonna touch the load cell, and then it's gonna apply 33,000 counts which correspond to the load there and it will, then I'm going to wait until everything is stable then I'm going to read in my readout box right now I'm reading 62.71 that is the load that is being applied so I'm going to go in here and read 62.71 and I do read just to make sure that it, it is in fact reading 33,000 and that is my first point here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 34,000 and do read that one is stable when it applies the load so the software actually is applying the load so we don't need to press or anything like that I'm going to read here is 368.6 so I put my 368.6, I do read. And uh, in the process, so I'm going by just 1,000 counts, and I do calibrate, so I got my three points here, my calibration. So now I'm gonna go to 35,000, and I hear the load is applied frame is applied at the load, one is stable, and I read my digital readout. So we cover the whole range, or at least 60% of the range of the calibration. So what I'm doing is I'm adding, I'm doing increments of 1,000 counts, and every time mm -hmm. I apply, I wait, mm -hmm. and I'm going to go over the entire sequence. I wait when it's quiet and it's stable, that load is being maintained, then I read on my readout box, right now I'm reading 980.153, so I click my value here, 983. And I do read, so I should be reading my target count, which is 3600. I do calibrate, so I'm checking my calibration again. And again, I will continue and see how well my calibration is doing. So far, my calibration is looking great. I got very small standard error and a correlation that is close to one. So that's my next reading. I'm going to read it in here. It is 1288. So I put my 1288. I do read. And then I do 38. Mm -hmm. How many points we do typically at least four? I'll like to do as many as I can. Um, so the next reading is 1595.1. So I'm going to continue of doing this calibration until I cover at least 60% of the range. And once I'm done, I'm just going to click save button. I'll make sure uh, my offset is correspond to my zero load and my calibration is done.